thank you, Trey. So for the fakie tray, you should probably already know what you have to do, what you have to know to be able to do the fakie tray, like this is a shot of the flip. So you don't know that, then you're stupid. But anyway, for the fakie tray flip, I like to have my feet somewhat pointed right there, so I can guide it better. A back flop, kind of cusp, kind of like angled around instead of just flat, so that it can like get a better pop and get higher, and all that good stuff. So yeah. So you're gonna wanna kinda pop it straight vertically, and then like as it would be just becoming vertical, your front foot guide it around. Like it's coming vertical, and it really be on your front, on your, whatever that foot is, and then like, it'll just work. And hopefully you're not like teaching people where there's like a thousand snot rocks around. That really helps the, the trick go by smoothly. When you think common problems, you want to think like, oh sick. You want to think like under rotating or under flipping or something like that. You just like roll this ankle. But no, that's not usually what happens with fakie tray flips. Fakie tray flips, the problem is usually with your weight. Because fakie tray flips is just awkward because you're moving backwards and you're fake tray flips and whatnot. So what t usually tends to happen is you tend to like either be leaning back this way, or land on like that, or just, you know, be too far over here and not be able to land it. A way to remedy that is to just really focus on where your shoulders are compared to the board. Your shoulders should be like aligned with the bolts, like at all times, like while it's flipping, like under you. Like it should be it should look something like this. You shouldn't manual because that sucks. 